question number 10 we are told uh, below is a line AB uh, and a point X uh, such uh, at a point X determine the locus of a point P uh, equidistance from point A and B and 4 cm from X so to be able to do this question what you need is to uh, bisect uh, a B so that you get the perpendicular bisector and that will be the uh, the point where the uh, the point P is equidistant from A and B uh, then you are told it is 4 cm from X so from X you take the center X as the center of the circle and you draw a circle uh, the, the point P will be where the circle and the the, the, the perpendicular bisector inter uh, intersect so let's go ahead and do that so what I have done I have made two marks using uh, point A and B and uh, now I'm going to draw a line join uh, where the two uh, acts uh, intersect that will I'll come up with the perpendicular bisector of AB so that is the perpendicular bisector of AB uh, meaning at any point if you take uh, that point the distance from A to to that point is the same as the distance from B to that point so this is a midpoint of line AB from there since we are told that uh, uh, the point P is uh, 4 cm from X we are going to use X as the center of the circle uh, and draw a circle whose radius is 4 cm so this is the circle that I have drawn and now since we are uh, told to determine the locus so that is uh, this is a point P we can say that is point P1 and that is a uh, uh, P2 and if you measure the distance from P1 to P2 you will be able to get uh, 6 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter when you do it correctly otherwise the diagram that follows is what you get when you do it uh, manually using a pencil uh, and a, uh, can use a, a compass uh, so but that is the procedure of going about it